So we know that a variable speed turbine is going to be able to uh, operate at the maximum power point rather than at a uh, point where the velocity of the rotor is governed only by wind speed. So I want to look at a type of variable speed a wind turbine called the variable speed synchronous generator. Now the synchronous generator uh, is not um, the most uh, common type of wind turbine used, but it is, but I'm using it here to um, best describe how the feedback mechanism works, how you feed back um, to uh, to the stator in order to control the rotor speed, regardless of the speed of the wind. So I've drawn here a uh, synchronous generator, a variable speed synchronous generator. So let's go through the components. First, I've drawn the wind turbine, which is attached to a rotor. And from that rotor, we have um, a stator. And the stator uh, has this, um, will work at this, um, operate at the voltage and current shown here. That'll go through the rectifier, which just turns it to DC. So I'm going to highlight that green as well. Um, there, of course, you need to go through an inverter and uh, the inverter will then um, uh, just invert the signal and then you've got the, the line voltage and current and onto your transformer and your grid. And what I want to make note of here is that in this variable speed synchronous generator situation, it's a pulse width modulator inverter that actually does the control. So this is where the control happens. And what it is controlling is it controls the DC current. So this is controlling your DC current. From there, of course, if this DC DC current is increased or decreased, it'll have a direct effect on this current that comes out of the generator. And this is the current that sits in the stator. Now, uh, how does this help us? Because remember, what we want to do is in effect, so we're going to control IDC, which has a direct link to I of the generator, which has a direct link to um, the speed of the rotor. So we want to control the speed of the rotor. So you're asking, well, how do I govern, how do I change the speed, the current of a stator to get the speed of the rotator to increase? And it's not a simple matter of just you decrease the current, therefore you increase the um, the uh, rotational speed. What actually is happening is when you um, decrease this current in the generator, then um, uh, what happens is that you will then decrease the opposing torque. Um, that opposing torque is the torque in the stator and it opposes the wind. So what you've done is you've decreased the, um, the opposition, the opposition to the wind rotation. And if you decrease the opposition, then um, therefore you're going to have, uh, therefore increasing the effect of wind. And if you've increased the effect of wind, then you have increased the, um, the velocity uh, that is coming in due to the wind or the, the rotational velocity that is happening, that is induced by the torque that came from the force of wind generated on the blades. So that, of course, is the rotation that you will see in the rotor. So what has happened here is you have decreased this current going into the stator, has had an effect of increasing the um, angular velocity of the rotor. 
And in on the same principle, we could look at if we drew more current, we increase the current, then um, it's going to increase the flow through the stator coils, which will create more torque. And that torque opposes the mechanical um, torque from the wind. And if you're opposing the mechanical torque from the wind, it's going to, in effect, uh, slow down that rotor. So this is not our most common wind turbine type, but I think it's really important to go through this diagram and uh, go through this thought process here of why does the rotor speed change in the opposite direction to the current that gets controlled by that pulse, which with pulse width modulated inverter.